The two female Philadelphia police officers whose sexual harassment lawsuit led to Richard Ross resigning reached an agreement to keep their same hours and positions as their suit moves forward. Meantime, the former commissioner says he was not forced out and he talks candidly about why he resigned. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff is at police headquarters with those reasons. In speaking with media today, now former police commissioner Richard Ross said that the lawsuit filed against the city in which he is named is not the only reason for his resignation. He said that he was fatigued. His decades-long career in law enforcement had taken a toll. Richard Ross's procession out of the department's headquarters took place less than a week after an accused shooter injured six of his colleagues. It was a seven and a half hour standoff that Ross played a key role in negotiating a peaceful end. I'm gonna go ahead and bid you all farewell, particularly many of you that I've seen multiple times. It was the first time in three and a half years that Ross addressed cameras without the title of Philadelphia's police commissioner. Given everything else that we have to contend with, that this issue would be a distraction that this department in this city don't need. This issue is a lawsuit filed against the city Friday by two female police officers. In it, Ross is named and accused of failing to act when sexual harassment was reported to him. Ross's seemingly sudden resignation came Tuesday evening. I think he made the right decision for himself, for his family, for the city, for the department, but it's not, it's not a happy day. I mean, I think he did a stellar job. Mayor Jim Kenney did not speak to the lawsuit. In January of 2016, he handpicked Ross to head the department. It was his decision to resign, and I think he made the right decision. In the lawsuit, one of the women alleges that Ross did not address her complaints of being sexually harassed by a co-worker because of, quote, retribution for her breaking off their two-year affair, which lasted from 2009 to 2011. Ross denies this claim. In 55 years of life and 30 years of law enforcement, God and everybody else who knows me knows I have never targeted a person. I have never sought retribution on a person personally or professionally. We did receive a response from the attorney representing the two women behind the lawsuit. He told Eyewitness News, quote, at noon today, a judge ruled the hours and job assignments of the female officers who filed the lawsuit against Ross and several other police officers must not change until the lawsuit is resolved. Their attorney added that his wish is that there is no retaliation against the women. Reporting from police headquarters, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alex, thanks.